This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. For going on three years now, there has been a concerted effort by conspiracy theorists on the right, which seems to be most of the right, most of conservatism today, uh, a concerted effort to malign and sow distrust in the American people about the vaccine and even the use of masks as uh, a mitigating feature, a mitigating um, uh, product that will help stop the spread, slow the spread of the coronavirus. Some of them claim liberty and don't tread on me and it's tyrannical government and it's oppression. And some are just grifters, straight up grifters. Candace Owens is one of these grifters. I'm going to play a video of her from January 11th where she sows conspiracy about the death of Bob Saget, comedian, who died on January 9th in his hotel room of mysterious causes no one knew at the time. She came out and, and claimed it was she was either Nastradamus, she said, or a conspiracy theorist. And then she said, I'm neither. I'm just not in the pocket of big pharma. A bunch of buzzwords on the payroll of Ben Shapiro. Good job, Ben, hiring nutty, absolute, abject conspiracy theorists. But now we know the family came out and has announced his cause of death, that there were no, were no drugs, there were no alcohol related. It was not related to his booster shot or coronavirus anything. He hit his head. And rather than let the, the family grieve in privacy, the right has taken to turning his death into something political, something it's not, to lie. And so disinformation and misinformation, propaganda, conspiracy theory, in an effort to, one, cash those checks, baby, but also to sow distrust in the American people about a very safe and very effective an absolutely free vaccine. I'm going to read a little bit from the AP here. Bob Saget died of after accidental blow to the head. Bob Saget's death last month stemmed from an accidental blow to the head, his family said in a statement Wednesday. The comedian and Full House star was found dead January 9th in a Florida hotel room. He performed in the area the night before as part of a stand-up tour. The authorities have determined that Bob passed from head trauma, the Saget family said. They have concluded that he accidentally hit the back of his head on something, thought nothing of it, and went to sleep. No drugs or alcohol were involved. The medical examiner's office in Orange County, Florida, did not immediately return a message seeking details about their investigation Wednesday night. Saget, 65, was found on a, the hotel room bed, and there were no signs of foul play, authorities said last month. A hotel security officer had entered the hotel room after Saget failed to check out, and called 911 when he found him unresponsive. So here, here is little Miss Candace Owens with zero knowledge at all, no inside information, not basing what she's saying on reporting. She's just saying words, adding grief to the family, no doubt. Lying, sowing distrust and conspiracy theory uh, with the, the, the confidence uh, of a genius, with the confidence of someone who has a, a rock solid grip on logic and reason and understanding and facts. Remember this moment. So am I a conspiracy theorist or am I Nostradamus? The answer is neither. I'm just not on Big Pharma's payroll, and I refuse to peddle in their lies. And so to that end, today, I'm going to point out another truth, and it will likely be deemed a conspiracy theory until it's not. There are too many healthy individuals, like Bob Saget, who we know have received their vaccinations, who are dropping dead 
suddenly and unexpectedly with no further explanation. Healthy athletes, young students in their physical prime, the majority of them males dropping suddenly and unexpectedly in the middle of games from heart issues. What we know for a fact is that these people are being mandated to take the vaccine. And we know for a fact that these vaccines come with a warning that they bring about myocarditis. But the media is once again gaslighting the public, pretending that to even take notice of this very alarming trend is a conspiracy. The problem isn't that healthy men are dying. The problem is that you're noticing it. Where are the fact checkers? All of this to say that I don't know why a healthy man who is in the middle of a comedy tour suddenly and unexpectedly drops dead in his hotel room. But I do know that we have a right to ask the question. All of us do. In fact, when the entire world has suddenly and unexpectedly been prescribed an injection that we don't need, it is not only our right to ask questions, but also our right to demand answers. A few things in there that need to be addressed. One is the, will, this, is, this is a conspiracy theory until it's not. Well, it's not now, but it's still a conspiracy theory. We know now, there's no need for speculation. All of this to say that I don't know why a healthy man who was in the middle of a comedy tour suddenly and unexpectedly drops dead in his hotel room. Well, now you know, Candy, now you know. No need to continue to spread your filth and your lies, and I'm not just talking about your COVID, uh, about this particular pandemic. No need. There's athletes dropping dead. And the, the pharmaceutical industry and health leaders are telling us lies. What lies? Candy, what lies? You don't name any. You just say that they're telling lies. You are a conspiracy theorist. You are most certainly not well, you might be Nostradamus, Nate Nostradamus, or however you mispronounced it, because he also was a, a fraud. Not real, a fake. Lying about people dropping dead when they're not. When every single one of you out there likely know someone who did get COVID, many of you, too many of you likely know someone who died or became gravely ill after catching COVID. And I would venture a guess, an educated guess, that almost none of you know someone who died from taking a vaccine. But that is what they would have you believe. That is what conservatives are hell-bent to have you believe, that the vaccine is dangerous. Even though you have it, I've gotten it three times. Now that's anecdotal. But we can look at a cross-section of data to know that the overwhelming majority, the vast majority of people who get the vaccine, one, two shots, then a booster, are fine. In fact, they're not just fine. They are prevented from dying of COVID. And the people who are refusing to get the vaccine are filling up our hospitals all across the country stretching the limits of healthcare to the breaking point while people like Candace Owens spread their lies, their disinformation. And what lies? Everything I just said, those lies. I'm not just saying they're lying. I'm telling you what they're lying about so they can cash them checks. Anyway, uh, what do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I would absolutely love to have you scream at me there. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, we, <laughs> this is not going to end anytime soon. So uh, be ready for more like this. These absolute embarrassments to humanity. Clear grifters, clear charlatans, yet they seem to be the loudest voice in the room at times. 
and have garnered themselves quite the following. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.